too. Well, tonight we can see more storms. Our storm team chief forecaster, John Milan, is here to tell us more about that. Yeah, there's a chance we'll see some after about 9 o'clock tonight. Guess who is seeing storms, though, right now? Uh, the poor folks down in Moore, Oklahoma. Thunderstorms right over the south side of the city right now, and they have not seen the squall line yet. You see that extending from just west of Oklahoma City, moving towards them, and there is a tornado watch out for them. Let's pan over and show you the storms connecting all the way through Kansas and Nebraska, and now into Oklahoma from Fort Dodge to Waterloo, Iowa, and then all the way into southwest Wisconsin, where some big thunderstorms are starting to push in. Let's check out live advanced Doppler 4 radar and see where those storms are in the state of Wisconsin. We were watching an isolated thunderstorm here north of Chicago. That has dissipated a couple isolated storms uh, just in southwest Wisconsin from La Crosse to Eau Claire, where there's a severe thunderstorm, watch till 10 o'clock. Some big thunderstorms, but most of the movement is north. This is just slowly drifting to the east. If we see any rumbles of thunder, it'll be late tonight. We still are in a potential for some uh, damaging severe storms. Most of uh, the threat is wind, and that would be tomorrow night. And we're also a threat for some flash flooding, and that also runs through tomorrow night and actually even into Saturday if we get more thunderstorms uh, training over us during the day on Friday. Today's high, almost 80 degrees, 79 degrees at the airport, but folks, Oaks Inland got into the low 80s and our May rainfall now way up at 3.95 inches. And you can see the warm temperatures finally have pushed in out of Illinois. 83 in La Crosse today, 83 Chicago, 82 in Des Moines. That air also very humid. 81 in West Bend right now in Port Washington, 79 Waukesha and Watertown, 81 Whitewater Lake Geneva while Milwaukee holds at 75 degrees. Overnight tonight, it'll be warm, it'll be humid. We might even see a little patchy fog develop. 65 Waukesha, 67 Lake Geneva, 64 in Milwaukee. So this storm takes its time getting through here. Warm front through, showers and storms are likely tomorrow afternoon. Some of those could be strong. Friday, we're watching this area of showers and storms ahead of the cold front. We could see periods of showers and storms rolling through on Friday. 80 tomorrow in Milwaukee, Madison, 85 if you're going to Chicago. And even as far north as Rhinelander, 81, with a chance of showers and storms. But most of those will come in late in the day. So in late evening, probably closer to 10 o'clock or after for showers and storms. Before that, you're clear. 64 degrees, mostly cloudy, warm, and humid tomorrow. Partly cloudy with a late afternoon thunderstorm, 80 degrees. Tomorrow night, scattered thunderstorms are likely 64. Some of those could be strong thunderstorms at times. On Friday, cloudy and 78. Here it is. Your storm team for seven day planner, a lingering shower into Saturday as the cold front finally gets through. Coldest air doesn't get down though until Saturday night and Sunday, 75 Saturday. And look at the drop in temperatures, even though we see sunshine on Sunday, 62 degrees. If I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we're in June. Not April. I know, but we are in June. And All right. it's 62 Going the wrong for a high. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Coming up next.